live anyway. We are live live. That's true. Which means it's going to make sound on all of our computers. Yes. Let's make sure to turn those down. Hey, everybody. Here we go. Got the memo. Hope everybody's doing good. We're just getting everything lined up here. So we can share it on all our pages. Did you guys find it live? Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Shared. This is just uh, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta give it a page. Uh, this is the best. Hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. There it is right there. Share. We are live. Is everything going good out there? We're good. All right. So far, it's a technology seminar. Yes. <laughs> well, if you thought this was good, wait till you hear the tuning. <laughs> well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Mandolins and Beer first ever live stream here in Nashville. Got Casey Campbell over here, Dominic Leslie over there, Thomas Castle over there as well. And I uh, hope you guys are doing good. Um, Excited to do this. Thanks for joining us. We've got some people there. It's a lag, so I'm, I'm watching this and weirding out at the weird time warp, so. <laughs> so we're gonna start it off with the uh, fiddle tune, then we're just gonna kinda, just kinda hang out and play some tunes and talk. If you got questions, um, you can ask them. Well, uh, let me pull up my page and you can ask them. If you go to the mandolins and beer page, um, that is where I'm going to be looking at comments and such. So, so let's play one first, though. We'll do June Apple, and then I'll look and see if we've got any yeah. comments or questions. Or... All right. Thank you. 
cool. So much talking with the eyes. Yes. <laughs> it's very, very interesting. Oh, we got the comments up there now. All oh, right, yeah. man. We got... Look at Dominic's got a new axe with him here today. That's right. Well, it's a new old axe. It's new to me. I got it about a month ago, uh, but it was built in 1918. Um, so... I'd say it's looking pretty good for a 102 year old. Yeah. Wouldn't you guys? Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's she's a beauty. 102s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. Um, I, I, I should right now, before I forget, um, I want to thank Mandolin Cafe. I want to thank Peghead Nation. I want to thank Carter Vintage. And I want to thank Jackalope Brewing for all sponsoring this and uh, helping put this together. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much. Um, <laughs> Yes, we got applause in the uh, control room. I've got the Bear Walker. It's a, uh, it's a classic. It's a brown. Thunder Ann over there, Ooh. huh? Thunder so. Ann, that's right. Thunder Ann! I think there's a, there's a song about her somewhere. You do. Oh. <laughs> so uh, we're going we're gonna to pick some tunes and uh, drink some beers. I hope you guys are, are drinking some beers out there as well. Hey guys, your your voices sound a little muffled. Oh, do they sound? I guess I guess we could try like when we're talking. Okay. Oh, <laughs> ah, gotcha. I got it. There we go. Do they make Bane masks like this? Oh, I'm sure. You got to right. Yeah, sure. You throwing a beard too? A little bit. Yeah, I man. Know. I don't know if you can call it a beard. Yeah, but well, thanks well. for noticing. Yeah, you're welcome. It means a lot. It's amazing. <laughs> So um yeah so we're gonna we're gonna pick some tunes here uh what do you wanna do Dom what do you want to uh get a... well let's see here we sent a list of tunes out but who knows what'll happen here you never know <laughs> by the way um I want to thank everybody also for thank those who donated already um again anybody who makes a donation they are in a drawing to win a uh, a one year subscription from Peghead Nation to uh, the course. One of the courses of their choice, there's one of those. And then a bunch of hats, shirts, and autographed books from Walter. So any donations work. We did $10 recommended, but honestly, um, you know, anything's great. So, and PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. Cashier's check? Yeah. Yeah. If you could FedEx it, that'd be uh, cool. A, a crate of potatoes. Mm. A crate of potatoes sounds wonderful. What do you think of Dominic? You know, we did that whole email chain with all those ideas and everything. Yeah. But I was just thinking how fun it would be to actually just play the Dixie Hoedown. Oh, yeah. is that? that cool? Just while we're kind of, you know, warming up here, getting into the vibe a yeah. little bit. Key of? Key of G. Thank you. Cool? Sorry yeah. to spin the new one. No, that's all right, man.
I have to, uh, well, I've got you here, Dominic. The, uh, after I had you on the podcast, I got a few emails that said, why didn't you ask him how it came about that he filled in for Ricky Skaggs? Oh, so unfortunately, uh, Ricky actually had some health problems there. He tore his, uh, his bicep tendon actually swatting at a fly. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. That, that's a Mandalus Beer exclusive? Yeah. Swatting you, at a fly? you got to be careful. Man. <laughs> Fantastic. And so he was out of a job for a while, and I think uh, Casey actually also had the honor oh, nice, of feeling in for Ricky Skaggs' hands there. <laughs> just the hands. I just, just the yeah, hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I... Uh, I did a little announcement on my Facebook that I was doing this, filling in for Ricky Skaggs, and people were like, are you singing too? And I was like, <laughs> heck no, I got no business singing in Ricky Skaggs' band. But That's amazing, guys. That was a, yeah. a fun gig there for a little while, for sure. Yeah. Well, it's the same sort of situation for you, too. I mean, that's, that's big shoes to fill. Yeah. Well, it's about... About the same? About the same. A little larger. <laughs> I, I just stuffed it with newspaper. <laughs> Are you going to sing too? That's no great. way. <laughs> Heck no. Heck no. <laughs> All right. How about, uh, let's do, um, let's do Tipsy Gypsy. Yes. See if I can't, uh, Mark. make that happen. <laughs> Mary Ann. Jackie. Mary Ann. Angela. Angela. Sorry, I'm just saying my hellos. <laughs> Hello's to everyone. Lori, I want to thank Lori. She uh, not only Venmoed us, but she also uh, posted it on the uh, comments, the Venmo address. She's a good one. That's a good one. So, all right. So, uh,
gypsy. Gypsy gypsy. Gypsy gypsy. <clears throat> Thanks, y'all. Nice dom. You got a uh, nice white wine. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks, Mark. Johnny. Ah, uh, David. Yeah. I think. Mama. Mama. <laughs> That's my mama. <laughs> <laughs> Was that really your mama there? Donna. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a different last name. Donna mama Donna. Yeah. She's a little biased towards mandolins, but I can't say it's, <laughs> she's come to the right place. That's we right. All have. So, uh, let's see here. Thank Brad for uh, getting us all set up and going here, too, man. Thank you so much. Tune Smith here for having us. It's a great place. You might, Casey, you're here, is it every Tuesday? Every Pretty Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Uh, 7 p.m. Central. With the David Greer Band, we've got Stuart Duncan and uh, Corey Walker and Dennis Crouch, myself and David Greer. We've been playing here, right here, just about in this setup for since the um, beginning of April. So since this whole thing started, that's crazy. It looked a lot different when we when we moved in. Brad and Brad Binge and Richard Smith have turned this into quite the venue. It's rad, man. Real, real cool looking. Yeah. Mando Madness. Indeed. Indeed. Let's see. Uh, this is the best. You guys missed the uh, best part tuning earlier. There's, uh, you're, you'll probably get plenty of it. You won't miss yeah. any of this. <laughs> yeah. Lots of, uh, lots of tuning going on here. Uh, Thomas, what do you, uh, what do you want to do here? Just slow one? Sure. But, uh, I'll be all smiles tonight. Yes. Key of A. A. Mm -hmm. A. A. Are you going to be singing this one? I will not sing this one. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I filled in for Ira Levin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he was swatting a bee <laughs> and um, put his shoulder out. <laughs> Into it. Yeah.
Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Woo! Right. How about that? Great call. <laughs> Casey Smoothie Campbell. Oh, man. <laughs> that was good. I like Smoothie that now. Campbell. So that still has, sounds all good all back there. I think everything sounds good. Everyone, look at all the hearts going off up there. Love that. This is, uh, this is amazing, man. This is a... Uh, I got to tell you, um, you guys doing this has been, I, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Like I would have never thought, I was telling Dominic right before we started this, like that I would be sitting in a room with three dudes that I listen to, you know, all the time and have been for years that I admire as players. So thank you guys so much for, for doing this. I mean, this is like crazy to me. I can't believe it. Yeah. So I really, really appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. Man, absolutely. Absolutely. I am doing another one. October 24th in Austin, Texas. Oh, I've not announced that yet. But uh, October 24th, Austin, Texas with Billy Bright. With uh, Kim Wana. Kim Wana and Paul Glass. Ooh. Awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. So this is hot take. Hot take. That's great. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. So, But this is the inaugural one. So this is amazing. I'm so stoked to be here with you guys. And uh, in Nashville of all places. Likewise, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. So, Casey. What? What do you got? What, what would you like to play, buddy? I don't know what's on the list. That's what's on the list. <laughs> what's the set list say? <laughs> um, that girl I left behind. Yeah. It's just, it's just so... I hate to use the word simple, but it's just so... Right there. <laughs> it's wonderful. Simplicity is the mother of invention, as they say, Casey. Yes. That's right. What was yeah. the, uh, what's the album that you, uh... Was it the uh, Red Rector and Norma Blake album that you kind of heard the song off of? Was there a particular one that you? Yeah, liked? sure, that's the one. <laughs> that is the one. Is it really? That was it. Was oddly enough, it was when you I'd literally just been listening to that album when when you sent your tunes. I'm like, well, yeah. Well, this is convenient. <laughs> Red Rector. Speaking of speaking of yeah, Oval Hole A's. Yeah, man. You just need some some checkerboard polyester pants and you'll be set. <laughs> I have some. <laughs> I'm sad. You're sad. I, um, Donna, when I, I read that, watching from Crested Butte, but when I read it, I, I read Crested Butt. It's a common, common Mike Wilson, Daniel, you can tip uh, via PayPal, uh, Daniel Patrick Music at PayPal, uh, or Cash App if you use Cash App. But yes. Um, Daniel Patrick Music at Yahoo uh, via PayPal. And if you do it as a friend, PayPal doesn't take any money. It's a tip. We're all friends here. We're all friends here. We're all friends. Hey, Gus. Gus. How you doing, buddy? I feel weird that people can see me. Normally, I'm just hidden away in a <laughs> microphone. Right. I, I could be anybody right now. <laughs> <laughs> I could be anyone. All right. Girl I left behind. Like, great team. We'll see. <laughs> well, the tune itself. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Right. That's yeah. the happiest sound in the world right there. Yeah. Playing mandolin. Man. Playing in perfect harmony. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful tune. Hey, speaking of harmony, we should we should David uh, Fee wants a, a G flat five. That was a, a request. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> yeah, flat five, buddy. Um, want to do Telluride? Sure. Yeah, we we warmed up. This is a. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Casey and I got the easy part on this one. That's right. Those guys were like, "Oh, the harmony," and Thomas was like, "I think I know it." And Casey and I were like, "Well, you guys do that, and then <laughs> um, we'll sit here and tune." Yeah. <laughs>
Can you guys describe your axes? Absolutely, Bob. That, that leads into Gus's question, which is, uh, tell us about your mandolin that you got there, Dom. So, uh, Nutwith, whoa. David? Whoa. You got to talk to my you got to talk to my wife. <laughs> I don't know the nut with. Uh, yeah, I didn't sign the Yeah, uh, the I, d- I don't know. I don't know. Before. She's got the she's got the tape measure. I can't hey man, sorry. Hey man. Hey man. Well, let's start with Dom. Let's go around the room here real quick and uh and uh let's talk about I know we mentioned it a little bit, but tell us about that new yeah. to you axe. So, I got this about a month ago. It's a 1918 Gibson A4 mandolin. Uh, there used to be a pick guard here, which was removed. Um, and as you can see, it's in pretty remarkable condition uh, for being uh, 1918. And uh, I've just really had a blast playing on it for the last month or so. It's really different uh, from the sort of classic bluegrass F5 style. Um, and so it's been sort of refreshing. Yeah, In sounds way. amazing. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Are you, Thomas? Oh, man, this is a, uh, a 2016 Gibson Sam Bush model. Uh, and he I... is... What is that? Uh, Sam, Sam Bush. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm just who? yeah, who? Yeah, who? He was... Uh, he built it? <laughs> Sorry. President from 2000 to 2008. <laughs> uh, the other Bush. <laughs> uh, but this is a David Harvey built... Mandolin, I think it's one of the last Bush models that they made. I think they made one or two after this. Mm-hmm. But it's beautiful. I've had it since then. It's got a big, wide neck, uh, quilted maple back and sides. Yeah, sounds How, great. How'd you get that mandolin? They gave it to me because I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> uh, no, I got this at, at, uh, at the Rocky Grass Festival out in Colorado. Tom, actually, you got one the same way. I did. A long time ago. Yes, you guys have won, won mandolins. Amazing. Yeah. I have one mandolin too. <laughs> <laughs> Just, well, let's talk about Just, that one mandolin. It's right here. Uh, this is a, a rattlesnake built by a guy named Olin Davis in North Carolina. Um, I got it about 2008 uh, from Gruens, but this was before uh, Carter's was was around. This is when Carter was uh, Walter Carter was working at, at George's, and I, I believe Walter actually brought this mandolin into the store, uh, purchased it, and, and put it up for sale. So another, yet another mandolin that we can thank Walter Carter for. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Will you, um, if people haven't heard the podcast with you, you hey, Tom, will you grab me a beer? Will you? I will. Please, thank you. <laughs> See you. Uh, yes, yeah, he's heard enough. Um, you had a great story about that hanging on the wall. Oh, yeah. it, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, in 2008, I was uh, years old and um, shopping for... My my first um, kind of professional mandolin, and uh, didn't know what to look for really, and so um, just I tried a bunch out, and I was just looking down the the wall of mandolins hanging on the on the racks, and uh, noticed that this one hung just just a little lower, and for all I know, it could have just been a bent rod on the hanger, you know, <laughs> but but I was like, oh man. That must mean it's larger. That much must mean it, it sounds better. <laughs> and so I uh, bought it, and it is it is a little larger, uh, a little longer, and this, the neck is super slim. Um, but uh, yeah, but I, I guess they got me. Yeah, that's great, man. Awesome. This is also a David Harvey built mandolin. It's a uh, 2013. It's a Gibson F5G. I love it. Um, I've had it since 2013, and Oddly enough, I got mine from the um, the mandolin store out in Arizona at the time, and I, I wanted a completely different mandolin. My wife was on vacation, and so as you do when your wife's on vacation, you drink beer and window shop for mandolins, <laughs> if, you're, uh, <laughs> if you're me. And um, uh, they, somebody had a, uh, another brand, but it was like they had custom ordered it, and so it had like the big black inlay. It was basically like a sandbush version of another oh. brand. And so I put held it online, I'm like good to go, and I call there Monday morning to do all the paperwork. And the guy's like, Hey, I know you got this mandolin on hold. He's like, But have you seen the website this morning? We just posted a video clip of this Gibson. And I'm like, ah, I'm pretty sold. I mean, you know, and he's like, Just call me back in a minute and tell me what you think. And he just did like the. 
and I'm just like, all right, yeah, I'll take that one. <laughs> <laughs> it spoke to me. Oh, man. Oh, thank you so much, buddy. All right. So cheers, everybody, if you guys have uh, have drinks. Do you want one of those ginger ales? Uh, yeah, I'm going to grab one yeah, before, cool. before we get started. You bet. By the way, this is a 1999 rattlesnake. 1999 I got, I got it in 2008, but it's a 99. Nice. Number 20. Crucial Anything information. Anything else you want to know as I walk away? <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. I can't believe this is a... Absolutely. It's been a... And again, um, thank you guys for it's been a lot of people tuned in. Hey, son, that's those are my parents, Roger and Denise Hoyle. You might have seen their playing cards. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. a part of the Hoyle fortune. No, the yeah, other yeah. for the other Hoyles. <laughs> got Jackie up there from Johnson City. Is that Jackie from Johnson City? She's a down home regular. Yeah, man. Yeah. And again. Um, if you, uh, there's a bunch of great prizes. Let's thank the sponsors again. Carter Vintage, and I'll be drawing, hey Gabby, I'll be drawing um, winners Monday. We got hats and shirts from Carter and some autographed books, his mandolin book, which is incredible. And they also uh, kicked in some sponsorship, as did the Mandolin Cafe. Scott, it's the best. You were just, you just had a uh, cafe article not too long ago. That's right. Yeah. It was a uh, that was a great great article. Your hair looked great too, oh, dude. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank it's you. a all around perfect <laughs> perfect article. Oh, I thought you were talking about him. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, get hammered and weird. <laughs> That's my buddy Wit. That's what, actually my buddy Wit. There, I should say, hey to Wit. I play hundreds of gigs a year with that guy. So Wit Algar, how's it going, buddy? Miss you, man. He's a good. He's good people. He's good people. <laughs> well, I would say we're friends, but I pay him. So. Yeah. <laughs> how about uh? How about that uh, come along Jody tune? Sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to uh, mentally blend that chords again here. Where did this come from, Dom? Right there. I actually learned it from Daryl Anger uh, when I was studying at the Berkeley College of Music. Um, but originally it was written by, I'm blanking on his name now, but he was a fiddler who played with Bill Monroe, uh, the math guy. Tex Logan. Tex Logan. I Whoa. can't believe I just spaced on, on Tex's name. Uh, but he wrote this tune, and I think I first heard it from Tristan Claridge. Uh, and it was, you know, probably 4 a.m. at IBMA one year in the, those hours when <laughs> it really starts to get weird. And Tristan wanders over to me, and he, st he starts playing this real sort of spooky melody. Um, and he had this kind of interesting way of playing it, too, where he's like... And he really sort of elongated that shift there. Yeah. And I was really kind of spooked out by this <laughs> when, I, when I first heard it. I was like, what the hell? is That's a bluegrass tune? Um, and it turns out it's this tune, this Tex Logan tune, Come Along Jody. Um... And it's a, a real fun one to pick. Shall we, fellas? We shall. Hey, Corey, thank you. Corey there's got his text Logan. He's listening in. Nice.
Oh, that was fun. Oh, you know what we haven't done yet is the sack reveal. <laughs> the sack reveal. So mine, if, if people follow me on Instagram, I had posted my feet on a dashboard. And uh, in a similar version, it's not the same socks, but I have like three pair. They're like my favorite. So they're these guys right here. They're very multicolored. Nice. Very bright. Dr. Seuss. They match my mood, totally. But I was not the only one who wore fun socks. So, uh, these socks, this is originally a painting called The Kiss. And I got these socks at an art museum somewhere in Kentucky, actually, of all places. Not <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the uh, World Wide Web. Yeah, well, that was uh, a, I think. <laughs> unexpected twist there. At the end, you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> Thomas. So cultured. I think these are cats. I guess they are cats. Um, yeah. I don't know where I got these. I, I've had them for a while. I was I was telling these guys that it's easy to not mix these up and lose them or leave them somewhere. And you can also yeah. check out my Instagram. I post feet as well. So. <laughs> oh man. Lots very well of, photographed lots of feet, feet. Pictures on my Instagram. Yeah, yeah. you're a uh, very well photographed feet though. You're you're a f photography buff. Somewhat. Foot. Yeah. Yes, a photographer. A photographer. And a foot buff. <laughs> oh, wow, man. Wow. Casey, you've got like a, if this doesn't work out, comedy. Yeah. yeah. Do that too? And then if comedy doesn't work out, then what? <laughs> what next? Uh, back to this. Yeah. yeah, back to this. <laughs> back to this. <laughs> yeah, I was in accounting. I was accounting on making more money at music. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Go. Dad joke for you. That's free. By the way, again, the, I see Venmo's coming in and PayPal's. I want to thank everybody for donating. Um, but if you could, if you haven't done so so far, donations at PayPal, Daniel Patrick Music, Venmo, Daniel Patrick Mandolin. They'll be split amongst us evenly. I've got all the paperwork out to, to make sure everything's <laughs> legit. Um, so we're going to do some more. We got time for some more tunes, huh? Well, I mean, we still have oh, one we more seen, soccer. We haven't seen your go. socks, Mike. Oh, geez, what a My joke. God. We... Sorry you had the uh, photographer thing and then that was it for me. Yeah. Was, oh. can, can we get a close up, Brad? I'm going to come to... I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wish I had my camera. <laughs> you tell me when, Brad. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> 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 Those are the most Beastie Boys shoes amongst us, though. Yeah, I got orthopedic insoles. They squeak. Oh, dude, those are the best. You can't wear shoes without orthopedic insoles. <laughs> I just saw the. Uh, I just saw it on the delay, by the way. <laughs> Want to try that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's been real. Yeah. Try that with John Reichman. Boy, what a nice guy. John Reichman is. I just interviewed him for the uh, Walk Along John track by track. And um, he's got a new album coming out. And he said, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. And he's like, but yeah, not like you can tell. <laughs> he's like, that's <laughs> John. Yeah. He's just like such a yeah. level guy. So <laughs> great. Does anybody want to kick this off? Or, uh... Oh, you got her. Anybody got the harmony? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. No, I don't. You can try. I know there is one that exists. Yeah, Feely, a next... little Feely played it, right? Yeah. Next right. episode, we'll get the harmony. That's right, next episode. All
awesome. Yeah. It's been real, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Let's do a couple more tunes and we'll call her uh Man, this has been a righteously good time. This is I yeah, what a good time. Thank you guys so much again for Thank doing you. this. Yeah. Thank you guys all for tuning in too. This is a it's a lot of mandolin <laughs> to take in. <laughs> it is. It's a lot of mandolin to give away too. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I also want to uh I want to put this out there too for uh for people who might be afraid to go to a bluegrass jam. Just go and do it. Just oh, go and do it. Terrific. I threw myself in the lion's den with this one. If if I can do this, anybody can do anything. <laughs> yeah, hang with these guys. Holy moly. Tell them about my anxiety dream earlier this week. It's too much to get into online. <laughs> but uh the refrigerators and Avenge Sevenfold and <laughs> Pyro. <laughs> Pyro. <laughs> so. Hey Jody, how you doing? From Bay City. That's my hometown. Bay City, Michigan. Her husband was the best. I've, every time I uh, he sadly he sadly passed away last year, but he um he's a huge Styx fan. I used to work with him back in the 90s. And every time I hear Styx, every time I think of that dude, and I probably will for the rest of my life. It's just like one of the nicest guys ever. So I hope you're doing well, Jody. All right, so what do we got here? What do we got? We got a, you know, we haven't done a slow on do dogs waltz? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, dogs yeah. waltz. Yeah, how's it go? <laughs> yeah. I know it was on my list. <laughs> ah! Well, somebody else will uh, it Oh, let's tune up and then we can, uh, we can, uh. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Tone. You want me to do it or you got it? You can do it if you know it. Yeah, you kick it off. Man. I will. We'll see about the second part.
Put you to sleep. I don't know what. <laughs> Saturday night, am I right? Guys? <laughs> Can I, uh, can I uh, crash here tonight? <laughs> well, this has been an amazingly good time. Thank you, guys. Got to show up, Brad. Thank you over in the uh, control room. Ange and Amy out there in the control room as well. Everybody who joined us online, I um, I've uh. I've only been watching the mandolins and beer streams, so I'm not sure on everybody else's page. So thank you for all the comments and the nice, kind words. Be doing the drawing on Monday. Once again, last chance to do some donations. Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, which is like the, uh, it's the, uh, I don't know what that would be in the, it's like the, 
dulcimer in a five string bluegrass band app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old cash, huh? He brought the cash app with him. <laughs> Let me download that real quick. <laughs> I don't even know what my name is on the cash app, so. <laughs> Should we play a slow one for the end? <laughs> Let's play that one again. Yeah. <laughs> what about a little, uh, what about the uh, Texas Gales? That's kind of a. Oh, yeah. Oh, a, yeah. Yeah, the old Texas Gales. <laughs> it's a yes from Casey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Wit. Bravo. Don't use those fancy words. I know who you are. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This ain't the opera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Now. Texas Gale. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> Final tune. <laughs> Grace the audience with one final tune. Yes, give them one more tune. Yeah, it's a tune. Thank you, Bob. Emma Rose, thank you. Turn it up. You got them out there. You got them out there. Tune them. Closer before, but. <laughs> and tuning is half the battle. <laughs> it's, it's the thought that counts. That's what they say, right? That, that's right. <laughs> One, two, three.
Thank you so much. Thank you to Carter Vintage. Thank you to Mandolin Cafe. Thank you to Peghead Nation. Thank you to Jackalope Brewing. Thank you guys for listening. October 24th, Austin, Texas. Cheers, everybody.